Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a how I stay fit while pregnant video and it's also kind of like a how I stay fit while pregnant with a toddler and also as a stay at home mom video um, because I know that I get some questions about how I stay active and healthy during pregnancy and here Anastasia in the background she's eating graham crackers and is really enjoying them apparently. Can you say hi? Hi. I get a lot of questions about how to stay like active and healthy while you're pregnant so I figured I would just kind of like walk you guys through my day and show you how I stay active throughout the day, how I get my steps in, how I work out and all of that and then later on in the video I'll show you my workout like I know I show my workouts in some of my daily vlogs that I do but I'll show a little more in detail and I'll also try and do a voiceover and explain exactly what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. But another exciting thing about today's video is that it's also in collaboration with one of my friends here on YouTube. Her name is Mary and she is newly postpartum. She just had her second daughter, I want to say four or five months ago. So she's still very newly postpartum. And she. this is going to be interesting because she is also a mom of two. And she's postpartum and she's also a working mom so it's like both sides of it you can see how to stay fit while you're pregnant and then how to stay fit after you've had your baby and also if you are a working mom because I know there's like it's pretty split like some moms work and some moms stay at home so I don't want to just show my perspective so I think it'll be interesting to see her perspective as well on this and if you guys have never heard of Mary's channel she makes a lot of similar content that I do she does some daily vlogs she does right now she's really into doing like um, fitness and health and recipes and stuff like that because she is trying to be as healthy as possible postpartum so she has a lot of really great videos on her channel if you guys have not checked her out already go ahead and head over to her channel after you're done watching my video to watch hers as well make sure you subscribe and all of that good stuff with that being said I think I explained everything and I'm out of breath because I am 29 weeks pregnant when I'm filming this I'll be like 30 weeks pregnant when this video goes up, but I'm very pregnant. I'm seven months pregnant and I'm running out of breath I'm very uncomfortable and I'm getting to the point where I'm like I'm done and I'm ready to be not pregnant anymore. Anastasia and I are about to go to the park for a walk and I like to do this once or twice a week. I usually just take her to the park and we walk around for like 20-30 minutes and then I let her play for like another 20-30 minutes so we're there for around like 45 minutes to an hour and it's perfect because it gets her outside and it gets me some of my steps in and some exercise and she also burns some energy which is fantastic because she ends up taking a very good nap afterwards when we come back home and she has lunch and all that good stuff and I can get a ton of work done. But that was actually something else that I wanted to mention that I forgot but I wear a Fitbit every single day. I've worn a Fitbit for years. Like I am just attached to it. I just like seeing my like my stats and my heart rate and my steps and all that kind of stuff. But I wear my Fitbit all the time. So I started doing this thing like two or three months ago called a step bet. And it's just this app and you basically just start this little like challenge with your friends and you challenge yourself to hit a certain amount of steps every single day and it calculates your steps based off of like what your personal activity level is so if you're like live a pretty sedentary life it's not going to give you like 20,000 steps a day it'll give you whatever you usually get but bump it up just a little bit more to challenge yourself and I think it's really fun because you bet into the game so for instance my games are only ten dollars to join that way it's affordable to a lot of people and it's just like just something fun to do and you don't have to like throw in like your whole life savings to, to do this little challenge but right now the game that I'm playing with um, like a group of other people the the winning pot is at a hundred dollars so whoever like gets all their steps for the five week duration which is the game duration um, you get to split the winning pot so that's really cool and for my step bet I currently have to get I think 13,000 for my like active days and then I think it's like 15,500 or something like that for my power days and there's four active days and two power days and you get like a rest day which is like a free day if you don't happen to get your stuff then you're still in the game but that has also been another incentive for me to like want to be more active and um, get more steps in so that's why I like going on walks in the park because it's super easy and like I said it gets both of us outside especially Anastasia I like to get her outside for at least like at the very minimum like 10 minutes a day but I aim for like anywhere from half an hour to an hour every single day just because it's good for her and all that good stuff but 
that's what we're gonna go do here in a little bit. I have to get a couple of things done really quick with some stuff with my Etsy shop and I need to clean up a little bit because Anastasia has made a total disaster of my house. In the two or three hours we have been awake, this is what she has been doing. So I need to clean up a little bit and get some stuff done with my Etsy shop, like I said, and then we will be on our way to the park to get a walk and some playtime in. Do you wanna go to the park? Yeah? Yes? That's the kitty, yes. Do you mind talking about that for a second? Because people just kind of willy-nilly take these pills, I think, right. to some extent, and think they're doing something. So A, do you still feel as strong about it as you? park we were there for like 45 minutes and it is almost 12 o'clock now and I figured I would just show you guys how many steps I got at the park while we were there this is how many steps that I got while I was out at the park today I think I started out with like 2700 so I got a little over 3,000 while I was there which is a really really great start to the day I like to have at least like a bare minimum of like three or four thousand before lunchtime so this is a really great start my goal today is to get 13,000 so that's good, and then I also have, let's see here, it also says that I've gotten 26 active minutes, which is really, really good. And then I also wanted to show you guys another app. Um, this is the StepBet app, and this is where um, you can see, those are my step goals during my StepBet. And then this is just other people in the group posting about their their stuff. But that's the StepBet app that we use for the challenges, and then, if you guys have never like counted macros or calories or anything like that, my top recommendation that I've used for literally years is my fitness pal. And I actually haven't really even used this in a very long time because I'm pregnant and I'm not really counting macros or calories, but just for the sake of just, you know, throwing this little bit of knowledge and um, extra info out to you guys, I wanted to show you guys what it looked like. And I put in like, you know, an estimate goal for calories as far as being seven months pregnant goes. So that's what I just like roughly estimated for my calorie goals. And then um, I put in my breakfast for the day, which was one egg, liquid egg whites. It was about four tablespoons, spinach, and then just a tiny sprinkle of Mexican cheese and two turkey sausage patties and then like a third of a banana. That was my breakfast and I also had coffee. So my breakfast came out to like 375 calories and I try and get as much protein in as possible. Like I don't go crazy and only eat protein or you know do a keto diet or low carb or anything like that but I just try and stick to like fruits and vegetables, high protein, lower sugar, all that good stuff. But I don't really diet or anything like that. So I figured I would just show you guys a quick little look into that. Those are some of the apps that I recommend. The Fitbit, the MyFitnessPal, and the StepBet. So now that it's about lunchtime, I'm gonna go ahead and make Anastasia some lunch. And then I'll probably end up showing you guys like in the next clip what my workout is for the day. Um, because from now until about like three or four o'clock, this is when I get like all my work done for the day, like YouTube, stuff for my Etsy shop, editing, there's something else that I need to work on. I don't know what it is. Oh, studying. I forgot. I'm also studying because I have to renew my personal training certification. So I get all of that kind of stuff done during her nap time. So that's what we're going to go and do now. Okay, so it's now 4.41 in the afternoon. I'm about to drink this pre-workout smoothie. And this is just ice, water, um, a little bit of frozen spinach, a tablespoon of this, which is PB2. It's powdered peanut butter. Um, one scoop of this and then half of a frozen banana. So that is my pre-workout shake. And sometimes I'll have this afterwards, but lately I've been working out later in the day, so I just have it beforehand. And then I give myself about like 10, 15 minutes to like digest it so I don't puke. But um, it's a super easy way to get some extra protein and greens in. You just add a handful of spinach and there you go. And then this is gonna be my workout for today. And I know some of these like terms and the way I've written it might look a little intimidating or confusing, but it's really not. It's super simple. I'll show you guys exactly like what the moves and exercises are in a little bit here when I go ahead and start working out. 
Okay, so now we're gonna jump into my daily workout and I typically work out six days a week. This is just what I like to do and what works for me. And I have found that when I kind of make it a routine and make it part of my schedule, it's easier for me to stick to. And this is exactly how I do it. I am just in my living room with no shoes on and my toddler is dancing around me and playing with me half the time. This is just how I work out. You don't have to have like a special gym membership or do a special program or have to have someone come babysit or anything like that. I just let her play around me while I work out. And obviously I try and keep it safe and not hit her or like step on her or anything like that. But she typically likes to just hang out with me while we work out. And I try and make it fun. And I always ask her every single day, do you want to exercise with me? And she always gets excited for it. So the first thing that I do is just turn on some music. If you see her looking at the TV, that's what she's looking at. I have Pandora on the TV. And I will tell you guys that one of the biggest things in having a successful and fun workout is picking the right music. I personally like to listen to a station called Trap Workout Radio and it has a bunch of different upbeat stuff on it. But you can always listen to whatever. If it's pop music, country music, you know, screamo music, whatever it is that gets you motivated. I have found that this seriously makes such a huge difference and this is also why Anastasia is always like running around and dancing because we have music playing. So if any of you guys are new to my channel and you don't already know, I am a certified personal trainer and I have been for several years now. So I know how to write my own workouts and that's typically what I prefer to do when I'm working out. And this is just how it has worked out well for me in the past couple of years ever since my daughter has been born because I don't have to worry about childcare at a gym or anything like that. So I usually do my own workouts that I write for myself. However, if I don't do my own workouts, I really love lots of YouTube workout videos because there are so many channels on YouTube that are dedicated to workout videos and fitness and things like that. And some of my favorites are Fitness Blender, um, Fitness Marshall, which is uh, like a dance workout video. And I also really love Paula B Fitness. She does low impact workouts for people that are like you know, a little more mature or beginners or have injuries or anything like that, which works well for me because I am pregnant, so I'm not trying to do anything crazy. And that's another thing that I wanted to touch on was that because I am pregnant, I'm not trying to achieve any kind of aesthetic goal right now. My main goal is to just get my heart rate up, get my body moving and just stay healthy and prepare my body for labor as much as possible. So moving on to like the actual logistics of how I am working out. Every single workout I start with a little bit of a warm up where I just get the blood flowing and just get my body warm. And then I usually do anywhere from like 10 to 20 minutes of cardio just because I like to, it feels good for me. And I like working up a little bit of a sweat before I start doing strength training. And on this particular day I was doing legs and I decided to do it circuit style. Sometimes I'll do like a typical like gym bodybuilder type split where you know you just complete one exercise before moving on to the next and completing your whole workout but circuit styles where you do several exercises in a row and then you re repeat the whole circuit over and over again so that's what i'm doing here and these moves that i'm doing are very very basic and nothing crazy you don't need any kind of special equipment or anything like that i'm using just dumbbells in a band and again i'm just doing legs and as you can see anastasia always likes to come and try and give me things and stuff like that but i don't let it stop me like i'm not gonna let her just try to like interact with me and play with me stop me from working out because at this point she's used to her seeing her mom be active and fit so i think it's important for her to see that to see how important it is to stay healthy and active so anyways, I just wanted to throw that in there, but as far as my workout goes, I just chose I think like six or seven leg exercises and I'm going to be repeating this cycle three times over and then at the end of my workout, I'll be stretching for about five minutes or so and I found that I really, really loved stretching at the end of my workouts while being pregnant. I, I'll be honest, I didn't used to do this a whole lot. I just usually spent the time doing extra like exercises or 
more cardio or something like that but stretching especially while pregnant is just so so important to keep your body in the best shape possible it's a crazy monday i know it shows that i'm a little nervous i just realized So anyways, that is basically my whole fitness routine as far as what I do during the day and how exactly I work out. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out and it helped you realize that you don't have to have any kind of fancy equipment or a special gym membership or be on any kind of strict diet or exercise plan to be active and stay healthy. It's really just doing what feels good for your body and just being consistent with it. But anyways, I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video and be sure to go to Mary's channel as well and check out her video as well to see how she stays fit postpartum. If you guys did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below and hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.